Hello producers, it's Özgün here and welcome to the channel. Today I like to talk about headphones and how to transform your headphone to a flat frequency response and be able to mix and master much more accurately on them. So the reason I was digging this topic because I just got this Hi-Fi Man on on the Stealth V3 headphones. So that's the, I can say that's the best headphone I have ever used. I use many of the headphones, especially when I was working in a music studio. But the problem is this headphone, I just got it less than 10 days, but the right ear side of it has some buzzing, ringing on some certain frequency of bass. So after this video, literally, I'm gonna just go and, you know, hopefully get a replacement. And other than that, I had this Audio Technica, my old headphones, look how old it is now. It has like custom ear pads. I was having a blast with them, but they are close back, right? So the left ear hears the left only, right ear hears the right only. And that's the problem with mixing, you know, you don't hear much stereo much with it. This gives you better bass than the open headphones, but it's, it's fun to listen to music, but it doesn't have a sound stage and it doesn't have accurate stereo imaging. So that's why I wanted to just upgrade to these bad boys. As you see, like this is like not on on ear, this is like over ear. So it's just covering all of the ear. You see, like, and it's like you don't even feel that you are actually wearing some device. You know, it's so light, it doesn't make much pressure to the ear, to the head. So they are very easy to use. And also because they are open back, you can literally hear the stereo imaging and the sound staging much more easily. So open back headphones are best for mixing and mastering. Other ones are good for listening, good for DJing, but for the good for recording also because they won't leak the sound. But the open back headphones are good for mixing. So anyways, this small topic, let me show you how to make your headphone flat so you can mix with them. So first of all, you gotta be lucky on the headphone brand and the model. So this website, this autoeq.app website, I'm gonna put all the links to the description by the way. Tons of equalizer profiles for many of the headphones. Let's choose this one, you know, let's go with my Audio Technica M40X. So I'm gonna write M40X and I find my headphone brand. And then I got this graphic, right? So if I just uncheck this, this is the frequency response of my headphones. As you see, it's pretty shit. So it's very boosted on the bass. It has extremely big dip and too much mid frequencies. So it doesn't make sense to mix with these headphones. If you mix with these headphones, it's only gonna sound good in these specific headphones. Other in the other platforms, it doesn't gonna make sense. So all the purpose of mixing and especially the mastering is to your mixes to be able to transform in all of the other headphones, speakers, whatever they are. So the thing like that, guys, there are some Harman Targets EQ, which is like the industry standard, I can say. And we can just choose the target in here, which is the Harman located in here. There are different targets as well, but I like to choose this one. This is like the most industry standard one. And then we just click the target. So the Harman Target looks like that. The blue line represents the perfect, you know, the industry standard curve that your headphones should respond. This Audio Technica M40X is not even close, right? It's close at some point, but not that accurate. So it still has like makeup, some character by its own. So then all you gotta do is just go here and select an equalizer app. So you can choose like custom parametric EQ and it gives you the EQ settings, okay? If you check the equalizer tick in here, it gives you an EQ like that. And when you apply this EQ, your headphones are gonna sound like this. Almost accurate, right? Um, in, the, in the left side, you can still tweak this EQ to make it perfect, but I think that's pretty enough. That's pretty close. So if you like, you can just download this EQ and then you can see all the required parameters in here. So you can just literally go to your FL Studio and then you can use any of the EQ you like. So the preamp gain minus 5.67. And then the filter one, low shelf, frequency 105. And the gain 17.9. And the Q factor is 0.7.
And then the second EQ is the peak filter on 47 hertz, 47.6. The gain is minus 17.2. And the Q factor is 0 0.29. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the EQ that's shown in here. So all you got to do is just put this EQ as the last thing on your master while you are using these headphones. So whatever you do in the mix, it's going to be just passed through these headphones as last thing in the chain. You can just put it to liner phase if, if you don't mind the latency it gives. And then you will just hear much more close to the harmon curve, okay? And then which means basically you are kind of very close to mixing in a flat environment. So you will be monitoring the music much more flatter than the original curve. Before rendering your tracks, don't forget to deactivate this EQ because this is just to monitor just for your headphones while you are listening and working on this music. So this is when you're producing in your DAW. But what if you want to use this setting on the whole system, you know, system-wide, when, when you are listening Spotify, when you are listening YouTube, so this is what I'm doing. For that, guys, you got to go to the Equalizer APO, okay, this website, and then you just need to download this from here. So unfortunately, there is no macOS uh, version of it. This is only working in Windows. You just download this one and you just install it. I already did it, so I got to skip that. So Equalizer APO is a system-wide EQ. It can just overwrite your Windows audio settings and it can apply some certain equalizer to the system wide. So it's going to be activated whenever you listen from Spotify, YouTube and whatever, even playing video games. But the interface of this is very hard. So there is one more extension to it. This is the PC equalizer. Just download this one. It's going to just work inside of the equalizer APO. And this one has much more user friendly interface. So it looks like that. And the good thing with it, in this Auto EQ website, you can download this EQ for Equalizer e API for Equalizer API as well. That's also work. Also the piece, you know, this one. So you just click here, download, and then you can just import it inside of the piece. So then you don't need to do it manually. Let's say you couldn't find Auto EQ in here. You can also go to Auto EQ in inside of the piece. I don't know if they are using the same database, but you can also search from here too. So you don't need to export and import. So you can just search inside of the piece EQ. So let's check my headphones. It was Ananda Stealth. And then, yeah, we got it. This one, Ananda Stealth, is the headphones I'm using. So it's like showing the others as well. So once you like it, you can just click use and it's gonna just put it inside of the presets of yours. So I just got made this preset by myself while just looking online. And I just find this preset online as well to as like import inside of here. They all pretty similar. And I just find this preset and it was the most accurate one that I just find inside of this auto EQ section. And let's say you couldn't find your headphones in there. There is one more website. Um, all you got to do is just go to Equalizer APO, sec APO section in here and you can find earphones, speaker soundbar, headphones. You, you know, there are profiles for most of the stuff. Just go to the headphones, headphones again, and you will see a big list in here. Let's say M40X and yeah, we find it. Audio Technica M40X Optimum Hi-Fi Curve and just the regular one. So two different presets in this website as well. For example, we want to use this. Again, we can just get all the parameters that require to create the EQ in our DAW. Or again, you can just copy this as a TX, TXT file and import it from the PC EQ. And then all you got to do is just turn it on in here. That's it, guys. It's going to change all the sound coming from the PC. So yeah, guys, that's it. This is how we can make your headphones flat as much as possible so you can be able to mix and master properly. Then your music is going to be translated to the other devices so easily and so accurately. And before I end the video, let's pick the winners of the THR Vox group plugin. So we will choose three winners and we will give three free licenses to them. So I'm just copying the URL and I'm just pasting it here. And let's fetch the first winner. We can choose anything because we don't include replies. Don't allow duplicates. Okay, let's go.
So we got 84 comments. First winner is Gabriel. So brother, congratulations. So please write me on Instagram so I can just send you your license code. Okay, let's choose the second winner. Dope B9237. Congrats, bro. Much love to the Vietnam. So please reach me so I can send you your license code. And we are picking the last winner. Dorian Heidel, 3710. It's a super, yeah, super to you, bro. Congrats. Um, I'm going to send you your license code if you reach me on Instagram. So that's it, guys. Congratulations to all. And I'm going to pick one more um, backup winner. Let's do that because sometimes the winners don't get me back. So this is, this is just the backup winner, okay? Lucas Evan, my brother. So you are the backup. So if any of the winners didn't reach me in some time, I will just send you one of the licenses. So thanks guys. Today that was it for the Melodic Techno part two. I'm gonna try to shoot it in the next week. And in the middle, probably we will have one more plugin giveaway. So make sure to turn on notifications if you don't wanna miss it out. Peace guys, see you soon, bye bye.